Hello, I'm Alex Jones, and I'm a radio and television host based in Austin, Texas. And for many years, I've been exposing the criminal activities of the global elite, also known as the New World Order. In past films, we've documented the centralization of power, the move towards world government, the attack on the nation state, self-defense, the Second Amendment, family values, that is, the family itself, as well as private property rights. But time and time again in my research, I come, well, eye to eye with something that's even hard for me to believe. And that's that the elite, again, the so-called establishment kings, uh, those that know best, the visions of the anointed ones, are obsessed with the occult, from presidents to governors to the heads of industry. We've all seen the stories of presidents and first ladies obsessed with their astrologers making national policy decisions upon their recommendations. Spiritual guides, shamans in the White House. My friends, it gets far worse than that. Now, I personally am a Christian, but even an atheist should be concerned about the information we're about to bring forward in this new documentary film, The Dark Secrets Inside Bohemian Grove. You see, for over 120 plus years in Northern California, in Sonoma County, on a 2,700 acre secluded redwood grove, leaders from around the world, prime ministers, chancellors, presidents, governors, again, the heads of industry, banking, academia, the media, Hollywood, only a select few, a little over 2,000 people, travel there to engage in bizarre ancient Canaanite, Luciferian, Babylon, mystery religion ceremonies. At least that was the rumors. And so I went to the library and got on the internet and saw many of the mainstream news articles admitting that world leaders do indeed go there and they fly into San Francisco uh, and other surrounding cities and drive out into the rural uh, hills and mountains of Northern California and that these stories have been coming out that they worship some 45-foot stone owl god. And then I began to uh, read some of the documentation on this Moloch character of the Old Testament, mentioned many times in Leviticus. That's in the Bible. Why are world leaders traveling to the middle of nowhere to worship this thing? Well, I had to check it out for myself. And I'm proud of my team, Mike Hansen, Violet Nichols. They traveled with me there. We talked to some of the locals discreetly. We successfully infiltrated with the help of some of the locals and Channel 4, World of Wonder, uh, British television that teamed up with us. And uh, I successfully infiltrated through the Secret Service, uh, through the guards, through the Sonoma County Sheriff's Department. We were inside four hours. That's only one day out of the two weeks that they meet there for the admitted summer fire festival of the Bohemian Club. Well, basically that's enough for me. Uh, it's, it's hard to even describe it with words. And I hope that our hidden cameras uh, can give you at least a small piece of what I witnessed. To have world leaders engaging in this type of sickening behavior. Oh yes, there's much more to come. Mock human sacrifices, they claim, just shocks the very foundations of what Americans believe their leaders to be. And then to have it intimately connected with world government. It doesn't make a lot of sense until you research history. All throughout history, spanning back into the midst of the beginnings of civilization, we see world leaders uh, from the empires of old, from the Aztec kings and priests uh, to Babylonian leaders to ancient Rome engaging in twisted behavior. Could it be that when you have all the power and all the women and all the money and all the lands and all the art, you have to do something new. You have to go against the basic grain of humanity. You have to get off in a sick way. That's what we witnessed in Northern California July 15th, 2000. Get ready to go inside the Bohemian Grove. It was the night of July 15th, 2000. Mike Hansen and I were about to attempt the first ever successful infiltration of the Bohemian Grove. Others have tried and failed. 
No one has ever actually made it in and out with video evidence. After careful planning, we decided the best tactic would be to insert ourselves about a half mile from the main entrance into the heavily wooded area. Entering the gorge by stealth and getting into the main parking area. From there, we posed as Bohemian Club members, thus entering the inner sanctums of the New World Order. Marty thing was like we don't have time in the documentary to show you an entire tour of the 2700 acre compound in the middle of the gorge Besides the fact we didn't even have time to see but about 20% of it in between dodging security personnel. Unfortunately, we were using digital tapes that were one hour. Several of the confrontations were not caught on tape. We had sheriffs, deputies, secret service, you name it, question us on who we were. We just told them we were with the hillbillies. That's where the bushes stay, you know, because we've got Texas accents. Here's just one of many signs sporting French with skulls adorned with other trappings of death. We also saw signage with Latin and other ancient languages. Now we're about to let you see a little bit of what's going on with the great owl. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's the owl. Getting bold. This is the owl. I'm getting this, Allie. Right. Let's get out of here. Here you can see the bottom of the stone owl with the altar and the eternal flame, a Aladdin lamp style urn that continually burns year around, we're told. And here's a side shot from about 30 yards away of Moloch, the Canaanite deity to which children were sacrificed to in Babylon. And yet another slowed down close shot. Again, the internal flame burning, the altar. Uh, the bottom extremities of the 40 plus foot stone deity and uh, there is a shot of its head as well again we've slowed down this video because we only actually had about five seconds of it on our hidden cameras so you can have a chance to get a closer look at it you will see it during the ceremony speaking of the ceremony we were on the left hand side of the lake about 150 yards downstream beneath those large redwood trees much of the ritual you're going to witness took place on the right-hand side of the lake and at the northern tip beneath Moloch.
keep in mind the scale of the idol compared to those giant redwood trees. It's at least 45 feet tall. Now the daytime vantage you're witnessing is basically the vantage that we shot the ceremony from at night. At long last, here it is, the cremation of care unveiled.
fire shall have its will of thee. Be gone, no care, and all the winds make merry with thy dust. Hail, fellowships, eternal flame. Once again, midsummer sets us free. <laughs> Again, ladies and gentlemen, when you see that black edge coming in, that was the field from the camera. Uh, there you see the funeral pyre burning uh, with the effigy of a human, or it could be real, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, there's been a lot of strange going-ons in that area of Northern California, but this is what the establishment is into uh, right here in America, the cremation of care. And this was July 15th, 2000. people are deadly serious, those taking part in the ceremony. to confront George Bush on Bohemian Grove. George Bush Jr. They've been announcing on CNN, MSNBC, on television last night and today. For the first time in history, they're admitting it, why the vice presidential decision was made at Bohemian Grove. George Bush Sr., the former president, and Golden Bow and others. So now they're just throwing it in everybody's face. Uh, we've broken the story over a week ago. July 15th, we were in Northern California. They're trying to ignore it. George Bush is down here at the uh, governor's mansion across the street from the Capitol about to announce Dick Cheney uh, as his vice presidential running mate. We're going to go blow the party for him and get the information out to people. We're not going to stop. We're getting in their face. I want to make it clear that I'm neither Republican nor Democrat. But the facts speak for itself. George Bush Sr., Jr., even their grandfather, Prescott Bush, were all members of the Bohemian Club. So we dropped by to, well, let them know that we're fully aware of their activities. This is massive. This is how George Bush dresses up, right here. We got them on tape. This is how they dress up, right here, in red and black robes. A little more pointy, though, like the Klan. We got them on tape. This is how George Bush dresses. Right here when he's in the Bohemian Grove. This is how he dresses. We've already put it on television. Absolutely disgusting. George Bush isn't a conservative. He's not for family values. He is nothing but a Luciferian twit. A Luciferian twit, Bush. He may be in your feet on the human population. We say no to you. We're on the march. The empire is on the run. Long live the Constitution and death to the new world. Because the truth will not be hidden that you are part of a 3,000 
Babylon as well as Tyre. We have the high priest admitting all this. We have it on videotape. It is documented. It is documented. A Luciferian devil worshiper. Already people all over Austin are talking about it. We're not afraid of you. We're not afraid of your minions. In fact, we're waking your minions up every day with the hardcore evidence. We know your father met 11 times with Bill Clinton in 91. The whole thing was stage managed. We understand you've been helping to sell this country out, Bush. And we're going to expose you and your Luciferian rights. We're going to expose your criminal activity at the Bohemian Grove. We have the videotape. This is a massive story. One of the stories of the century. One of the stories of the century. How you had the Luciferian cult for 121 years in Northern California. I went inside for the cremation of care. I witnessed the entire debacle. Many of these Secret Service agents have been in. No doubt, protecting these people inside of this system. Ladies and gentlemen, you've been watching Dark Secrets Inside Bohemian Grove. The facts we've shown in this film are absolutely documented. I would only hope that the people of the world realize the organized evil we're dealing with at almost every level. Republican, Democrat, you name it. They're all working on the same team. Ladies and gentlemen, it's called world government, the new world order, dehumanization. It's not a joke. It's deadly serious. Unfortunately, they've been breeding societies to think everything's a joke. I'm here to tell you truth is stranger than fiction.